Hey fellow grievers. Okay, so this video is going to be a quick one, I think. Um, I am getting ready to leave for vacation at my brother's house in Virginia Beach. I'm going to head there for a couple days just for a change of scenery, but I wanted to get a video out to you. So I was thinking about what I could do and I decided that there are some things that I've been doing this summer pretty consistently that I can definitely tell have made a difference in my grief journey. None of them are super groundbreaking or, you know, they're all probably things that you've heard before, but they're things that are working for me. So I wanted to share them with you guys in the hopes that maybe it will give you some ideas of things that you could do to help you along with your grief journey. So stay tuned. So let's jump into it. I have a list down here. So if you see me looking down that that is why because I didn't want to forget anything. So the first thing that has really helped me this summer dealing with grief, which might seem a little bit weird is declutter. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that I recently moved into a tiny house community. So I'm now living in a tiny house. I had a five bedroom house on half an acre and now I've downsized into a 300 square foot tiny house. So needless to say, I had to get rid of a ton of stuff. And I am still pretty much daily just decluttering things that I'm finding that I'm not using or don't need that I thought I might need. How that's helping me with my grief journey is I get such pleasure out of being organized. So I don't know if you're like that. But after Libby died, it was, you know, it's a struggle to even get up. A lot of times you just want to sit on the sofa and cry and not do anything. And being surrounded by a mess, being in a messy house makes me uncomfortable. It's an unsettling feeling for me. I always feel like I should be up doing more. So by decluttering and getting rid of all my stuff and going kind of more minimal, it enables me, my house really never gets all that messy because everything has a place and I don't have that much to begin with. So even when I do get things out for cooking or whatever I'm doing, it's very easy to put it away. And that kind of organized, neat feeling brings me comfort. So that is the first thing that has been helping me. The second thing that has been helping, I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, but I have been very, very consistent with this summer and that is exercising. So some of you might not want to hear that. You're like, oh no. Um, that is my general view towards exercise typically. Um, and I found that what I've done in the past is I just go whole hog into something. So I'm going to do keto. I'm going to eat strictly keto and then I burn out and I hate it. Or I'm going to do weight training and I'm going to get super buff and I like dive head first into it and then I give up because it's too hard. I give up. So this time I really wanted to focus on gentle exercise that is very easy to sustain. So I started by taking classes at a local rec center here um, that's actually geared towards older people and it's very low impact. I have bad knees and bad hips. They're like the hips of a 90 year old woman from being a gymnast and a cheerleader my whole life. Um, so I need low impact exercises and I knew I didn't want to burn myself out, but I didn't want to you know, I just felt crappy sitting around not doing anything at all. I felt like I should be out moving. So the way that I've incorporated exercise, like I said, I started taking those classes um, at the rec center and then I just started adding more. So one thing that has really helped me, I've been taking a weekly walk and we do a pretty long walk. We walk for at least an hour or longer each time that we go with a friend of mine, Bianca. Hi, Bianca, thank you. Um, so Bianca and I have been walking every week and that is good for my body, but it's also good for my heart and my soul because we just talk about everything and vent. And she's a great listener when it comes to talking about libs and doesn't judge any of the stuff that I say. And I love it. So it's just really healthy for me in that grief journey. The other thing that I've been doing, and I'm going to leave a link to the channel below. So there is a channel called Improved Health on YouTube. I have nothing to do with them, not sponsored or anything. It is one lady that basically created her channel for people who need kind of softer, low impact. She does a lot of stuff for like seniors and beginners. And I started with her workouts and I have stuck with them all summer. And I've noticed a huge, huge difference. 
Um, she actually has a program on there, if you scroll down her videos, where it's 25 days in a row of weight training to get stronger. And I've been doing that. And again, it's something that is simple enough that I can stick with it. And that is key for me. And really, f kind of for the first time, like I actually look forward to getting up and exercising. If you're like, so if you're a big exerciser, you're gonna laugh at me, but a big part of it for me is like, I hate getting so sweaty to the point where I have to take a shower. And these exercises, like I kind of do it every other day. I will get to the point where I get sweaty enough that I hop in the shower to get ready for the day. But the other days I just do the weight training stuff and I don't get sweaty enough that I need to go take a shower right away, which is kind of nice. So I'm kind of doing whatever I feel like it, but I've been doing them first thing when I um, wake up in the morning and then actually in the evening before I go to bed, she has some routines on there that are like lower your blood sugar, you know, before bed kind of videos. And they're all just short. None of them are super long. Anyway, I'm rambling too much about this, but I'll leave the link below if you want to check it out. Love it. All right. The third thing that has really been helping me is meal prepping. So I've talked about meal prepping before, um, but I have really kind of ramped this up, just making sure that I am eating very healthy foods. And I'm going to tell you, it is so much easier since I'm living by myself. So if you still have little kids in your house or teenagers in your house or whoever is in your house, it's probably not going to be as easy as it is for me because now I'm just cooking for one person and I only get what I like. And I have found that I've lost a bunch of weight because I just don't have crap in the house. I just don't bring it in for me to eat. I have stopped going out to eat a lot. So I just sort of meal prep usually on Sundays or Monday mornings and get everything ready for that week and just make sure I have lots of like healthy fruits and vegetables and lean meats and things like that. And they're already stocked in my fridge and ready to go if I get hungry. So that has been a huge help for me. If you want to know more about my meal planning or if you want to see a video about that, just let me know in the comments because I'd be happy to show you guys what I do each week. Okay, number four is reading. That one's kind of self-explanatory, but I have been going to the library every week and grabbing about three books and then plowing through those books throughout the week. I have found that if I, if I'm having a day where I know I just need to relax and I've been very good at something I recommend for everyone going through grief, like give yourself those days. Grief is exhausting. So there are still days where I just feel like doing absolutely nothing. And I just give myself grace and know that that's okay. So I just plan for those days, but I used to feel really guilty about those days because a lot of times I would just binge Netflix shows. <laughs> and um, my favorite show, by the way, is not Netflix, it's, it's Apple TV, but Ted Lasso. If you have not watched Ted Lasso, watch it. It is the best show ever. I was obsessed with Ted Lasso. I've been through all of the seasons twice now, and I'll probably watch it again soon just because it, it just makes me feel good. Um, great show, so check it out. Um, where was I? Oh, so I was feeling guilty if I was doing the Netflix binge because it was kind of like, uh, if you're watching TV, you're not really accomplishing anything. But I find if I'm reading, it still is enjoyable because I really like reading, but I don't feel like I'm being lazy for some reason. For some reason, reading a book makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something or doing something that's good for my brain, whereas like binging on TV doesn't make me feel as good. So I've been setting aside time where if I just feel like chillaxing and not doing anything, um, I've been picking up books and kind of plowing through books and I've really been enjoying getting the time to do that again. All right, number five is trying to make an effort to get out of the house more. So I've already talked about this in a previous video, so I won't spend too long on it, but most days of the week, I make a plan to get myself out of the house in some way. So, and it, it's not like a big long journey every day, but I will head to the downtown area where I live and it's just a small town. I go to the library, I go work in a coffee shop for a little bit just for a change of atmosphere. Um, I will walk around and window shop at places. I love going to farmer's markets and I don't really spend a lot of money anywhere. So it's not bad for the budget, which is good. Um, it just, I just like going around and looking at things and just kind of getting myself out of the house for the day. So that one has been really helpful. Oh, which kind of brings me to the next one, which is number six. And that is, I've been using something called the side quest deck. And again, not sponsored at all, but let me grab it here so you can see. Okay. So this was totally an impulse buy and I'm usually not bad with that, but this was one that I saw and I was like, oh, 
I, I want to try that. So this is what they look like. You can see. Yeah. So there are three of them. They're from this company called the Heroes Journal. And they are called Side Quest Decks. And again, not sponsored. These people have no idea who I am. I'm just showing them to you because they've been really helpful for me and I find them really fun. So they, there's three different ones and I got all three, but they're, because they're kind of different side quests. Like one is more physical stuff. One is more mental stuff. One is more emotional stuff. So I kind of got all three. And the way that I've been using them is, uh, I'm not sure how they recommend to use them, but me personally, what I do is every week, I draw one of the cards from each deck. So I'll draw three cards and like this one is memorize a new quote. So whatever it is for the week, I will just sit these out and I will try to accomplish all three of them within one week. And it's really not hard to get them done. Some of them are really easy, like memorizing a quote. I could probably, you know, I could do that today in a little bit. Um, and drink your favorite beverage. So again, they are all super easy things to do. Um, some of them, the ones that I've gotten before are a little more active. So they'll have things like go explore a new coffee shop in your town or find the nearest ice cream shop and go get your favorite cone or something like that. So I don't, I don't know, it's just a cute way to give me kind of little micro goals throughout the week with fun things to do. And I've really enjoyed it. So if you're interested, I will also leave a link below to the side quest decks. And uh, if you feel like grabbing those for yourself, again, I'm not even I'm not an affiliate or anything. So it's not going to help me at all. I'm not making any money off of it. It's just a fun thing that's kind of giving me something to do. And kind of if you're in a bad griefy mood, it can kind of take your mind off of it by switching gears and doing something like, like if I'm having a bad grief day, the memorizing a new quote, it takes my brain off of what I was thinking and gives me something else to focus on. So it can be good for them. All right, seven. So number seven is I have been going more green. And what I mean by that, I don't know what it's like where you guys are, but around here, the heat is just stifling. And I am in Pennsylvania, which is not supposed to be like crazy, crazy hot, right? It's, it's relatively north but it has just been so freaking hot and humid and awful. And we've got the Canadian wildfires that are making our skies orange. And I'm hearing about Arizona where it's like 115 degrees for days in a row. Yeah, climate change is, is coming for us. It's pretty much here and it's been scaring me. So um, again, I know there's not really much that I can do about it personally, but just to kind of make myself feel better, I am making some switches to more kind of like green alternatives to things that I was doing. And honestly, it just kind of gives me another thing that I can focus on um, that makes me feel better about myself and my contribution to the planet. And I know it's something that Libby would have been proud of because she was, you know, very concerned with the environment and things like that. And, you know, telling people, oh, that goes in the recycling bin <laughs> versus not the recycling bin. So yeah, kind of kind of carrying along her legacy there and her impact on me. And again, this is another one of those things I'm trying to make this video relatively short. But if you want to learn more about some of the swaps that I'm making to be more green and more environmentally conscious, let me know in the comments. And I would be happy to make a video about that as well. Again, it's one of those things. This is a grief channel. So I don't know what you want to hear about. But it's helped me with my grief because it's given me kind of something else to focus on. And the last thing is I have been working on my book. So that always makes me feel good. I am getting very close to the end of my book, which is called Grief Sucks, But Your Life Doesn't Have To. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that that will be coming out probably within the next six months. So I am super excited about that. And just doing this, making these videos, making reels, doing blog posts, all of this stuff, it's giving me a purpose. So I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the comments that you guys leave and the amount of people that are saying, you know, just thanking me for what I'm doing and saying that it's helpful. That is the best feeling in the world for me right now. Libby was all about helping people. That That's all she did. She helped people all the time. It was just a ray of light and a ray of sunshine. and. Again, I want to do I want to do right by her. Um, I'd, I'd like to think that she got that from me. So I'm just sort of um, carrying along that tradition that we shared of just trying to educate and help people as best as I can. So yeah, it gives me purpose. 
And I encourage you to try to find something that makes you feel like you have a purpose as well, because that is so important when you're grieving and you might not find it right away. Absolutely not. I mean, take your time. It's not like you're going to run out and find a life's purpose in just a day. Well, you know, I'm trying to find my purpose, but it's something to think about and have on the radar. Even if you do something in your loved one's honor, like I have my daughter's charity that I started and we raised fun, we raise funds for dancers so that they can afford the classes and the competitions and the costumes and all that kind of stuff that they want to take because Libby loved dancing and I'm just trying to carry on her legacy as best as I can. So that is my purpose now. So again, appreciate your comments, appreciate you watching. If you are finding value in my videos, if you could like, share, subscribe, comment, any of those things really, really help the YouTube algorithm so that I can help more people and just let people know that they're not alone. And hopefully, like with this video, give you some tips that maybe you will find helpful to distract your mind or give you a purpose or just make you feel a little bit better about yourself and your body and your mind. Again, sending you love and hugs like always and I will see you guys next week.